And now, Serving the Ozarks, sponsored by NAV Restoration and Huey Magoo's Chicken Tenders. I am so excited. It is time for our third Serving the Ozarks Spotlight. I can't believe that we're already on number three. So this week, Bailey Stroll of Color 10 News and I had the opportunity to visit with and serve lunch to the hardworking volunteers of Safe Haven Now Food Pantry and Thrift Store in Rogersville. Uh, their mission statement is two stores, one mission. That is the motto of Safe Haven Now. So this nonprofit faith-based organization is comprised of a group of caring Christians in Webster County who are all working together to meet the spiritual and physical needs of the community. Safe Haven Now has two locations, one in Rogersville and also one in Fordland. And Safe Haven Now was founded about 10 years ago in Fordland and within five years of opening it, it expanded into Rogersville. And one of the many unique qualities about this organization is that there are no financial requirements to use their services. And this is an amazing quality that spoke volumes to the regional manager of the Rogersville location in addition to the Safe Haven Now board president. From a personal experience, I fell in those cracks when we were young newlyweds. We made too much money for government assistance. And so one of the highlights I found for this particular organization was we did not have a financial minimum or maximum. Uh, our criteria for both locations is proof of residency in the Rogersville and Fordland areas. It was part of my calling to serve that I was able to come here and Really, this has been a wonderful blessing. I can't, um, I can't tell you the blessing that I've received, what God has done through this facility and the many volunteers that are working here. The organization relies on sales from both thrift store locations to then generate money, which allows them to put that money back into the organization, purchase food, and stock the food pantry. And the pantry is free to residents of Rogersville and Fordland. Proof of residency is a must. In addition to uh, the thrift store and food pantry, each location has a blessing box where anyone can donate non-perishable food items, and residents in the community have 24-7 access to take what they need what they need. And last month, Safe Haven Now served about 60, between 60 and 75 families at both locations, um, which is an estimated 200 people. So that is a lot. They serve single and large family households, retirees and senior citizens. And unfortunately, due to inflation, they're beginning to see more and more young families needing uh, their services. So if you're a resident of Fordland, Safe Haven Now distributes food every third Saturday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. And if you're a res resident of Rogersville, that location distributes food every third Saturday as well, but from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. So thank you to Safe Haven Now, both locations for serving our community. And hey, if you happen to know of a charity, an organization, or an individual who is serving the Ozarks, you can email us at servingtheozarks at ozarkslocal.tv. All right, that is this week's Serving the Ozarks. Make sure to tune in next Thursday to see who we are serving. Serving the Ozarks is sponsored by NAV Restoration and Huey Magoo's Chicken Tenders. All right. Well, Ingrid, this kind of, you know, th the location, I would say, is near and dear to your heart because it you is. are a resident of Fordland. Yes. And when you say 200 people, you have to remember Fordland only has about 800 residents. So... I know it includes Rogersville, but it, it's very vast. Yes. And um, we take the time to try to fill that blessing box ourselves. I love it. Um, probably about once a month, we'll go shopping and we'll fill the blessing box. Uh -huh. and people can just stop by. It's on the outside of their building. They just open it up, take what they need and move on. It's it's wonderful. I, I really love it. When I read that on their website and also saw it firsthand, I was like, what a genius idea. You know, not only are there, you know, the requirements of just being a resident of either Fordland or Rogersville, but then you also have the blessing box because who knows, you know, once their door, their storefront is closed, you could be making dinner for your family and like, oh my gosh, I didn't plan or I did prepare. I need to, so you can go to the blessing box 24 seven and grab what you need. So. Absolutely. I love it. Well, and thank you for, you know, serving Safe Haven Now in your community. And again, thank you for putting it into perspective of how, you know, small the community is and how many people are actually using it. Right. So. It's very necessary. Yeah.